Nikon has announced the Z5, an anti-level full-frame camera that uses the G mount. The Nikon Z mount systems has large lens mount feature, a 55 mm inner diameter and short 16mm flange focal distance which allow for flexibility in the optical design of Nikkor Z lenses with maximum aperture as wide as f0.95 possible. The internal diameter of G mount is 70% larger than the Nikon F mount. It is also wider than any full frame mount available of 8-23-18. The Z5 has much in common with the Z6 and price is less. The Nikon Z5 shares a nearly identical design to the Nikon Z6 and Z7 cameras, although with a couple of notable differences. The Z5 does not include the top information display like the Z6 or Z7 cameras, instead opting for a more dial in this location. But it has better ergonomics, better grips, the button placements, so very easy to use camera, especially you are a already Nikon user. It is a nearly identical with the only real difference being the mobile moving the right side of the camera where the control panel used to be in terms of number of function buttons, the menu system, nothing else changes. It even come with an AF joystick and dedicated AF on button, electronic viewfinder. Z5 also has the same Nikon EVF that is already in the Z series camera Z6 or Z7 provide users with a clear and comfortable view of the subject. With the minimal lag and blackout, you will experience the feel and responsiveness of an optical viewfinder, the approx 3.6 million dot quad VGA electronic viewfinder. Boost approx 100% frame coverage and approx 37 degree diagonal viewing angle. The great advantage to a mirrorless camera such as Nikon G series is the ability to confirm the camera settings such as exposure, white balance, picture control extra before you shoot using the electronic viewfinder. Further, instead of offering a single SQD card slot, the Z5 includes a pair of SD card slots. The Z5 implies the polycarbonate for its rear and a base plates but remains sealed against dust and moisture to the same level as the higher end models. The top plate has been simplified with the traditional mode dial in the place of Z6 or Z7 status screen. The Z5 is the same size exact weight as a Z6 at a 675 gram, including its in body image stabilizer autofocus system, a lot of design aspects. The Nikon Z5 utilizes a 24.3 megapixels full frame image sensor. It is interesting to note that the Z6 includes a 24.5 megapixel sensor, so it is yet to be determined how the Z5 image quality and performance may differ when compared to the Z6. Other Nikon has stated that the Z5 sensor is, is a not a black side illuminated like the sensor found in Z6. The Z5 has a native ISO range of 100 to 51,200 same as the Z6 and can be expanded up to ISO 1.2400. It should be noted that Z6 can expand it further to the HI.2 ISO settings. The Nikon Z5 is equipped with a 273 point on sensor face detect autofocus system same as the Nikon Z6. The autofocus points over 90% of the image area in the both the horizontal and vertical direction. Further, the Z5 includes the same autofocus mode and settings as the Z6, Z7 cameras included human, animal eye autofocus and focus shift shooting. Focus shift shooting mode automatically takes a series of image up to 300 while advancing the focus position in each shot. These images can then be stacked into the single image with the subtle depth of field, great for the shooting jewelry products, landscape and still objects. Like its full-frame Z camera sibling, the Z5 is powered by Nikon Xpeed 6 image processor. However, the Z5 will not offer the same level of the speed and performance. The Nikon Z5 shoots at up to 4.5 frames per second, which is a considerable slower than the 12 FPS shooting speeds of the Nikon Z6. Buffer depth information is not yet available in the terms of battery life. The Z5 uses the new EN EL15C battery, while new it has the same form factor and existing EN EL15 batteries 
making the Z5 backwards compatible with the prior generation of the batteries. Using the EN EL15C which has increased capacity the Z5 can record 470 shots using the LCD and 390 with the EVF. The camera also includes USB-C power delivery meaning it can both utilize in camera charging and can also be powered by power banks using USB-C the USB-C cables. Nikon will sell it the option UC-E25 USB-C cable to facilitate the use of this feature. As the G5 shares the same overall form factor as the Z6 or Z7, the camera can also use Nikon MBN10 battery grip for improved design and extended battery life. You can shoot silently like wedding speeches and performances, turn on silent mode and capture photo after photo without drawing any attention. This is also great for photographing pets and wildlife. Additional shooting feature, the Z5 has a 5-axis in-body image stabilization. Like the Z6 and Z7 cameras, the Z5 includes in the body image stabilization. The 5-axis IB system delivers up to the 5 stops of the image stabilization while shooting and corrects for the yaw, pitch, roll and the movement along the X and Y axis. When using FT Jets adapter which allows you to the adapt F mount lenses to the new Z mount, the Z5 instead of a 3-axis stabilization same as Z6 or Z7. Speaking of FT Jets adapter, this is an important component of the Nikon Z system overall. The FTZ adapter allows you to use compatible Nikon F-mount lenses for feature compatibility required AFS. In terms of connectivity, the Z5 is a compatible with the Nikon SnapBridge via built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This means that users can move images and videos between the camera and compatible smartphone. SnapBridge also allows remote control of the cameras using free wireless transmitter utility software. Photographers will also be able to wirelessly move the images from the Z5 to their PC or Mac via a home network. Video features 4K capable. The Nikon Z5 is a capable of recording 4K 30p video as well as 1080 60p video. That does not mean that it is the same type of the video camera as the Nikon Z6. Image sensor shift VR. C6 and Z7 users already appreciated having in a camera vibration reduction whether they are using handheld slow motion video at 120p and need the extra stabilization or they are using non-VR F-mount glass with the FTZ adapter and love the fact that their lens now have a VR well. Z5 has also the 5-axis IB system delivers up to the 5 stops of the image stabilization. Z5 does include nice video feature when recording video it can use up to 231 PDAF points, include IBS, includes IBS and electronic VR which will further crop the video, creative picture control, focus picking and the camera can silently capture still images while shooting video. Nikon makes Z5 very compact for the traveling before the new kit lens. Users use Nikon 24x70 f4 but now we have a other option the new kit lens the ultra compact lens 2450 f4 6.3 the 24x70 f4 lens has amazing sharpness you can easily see how much smaller the 2450mm lens as far concern of weight it has amazing lightweight 200 gram approx less than the 2470 f4 where the size and weight is less their optical quality is also remarkable great sharpness and contrast so you can love the combination of small size and good quality optics the nikon z5 will be available as a body only option in late august for approx 1300 usd for comparison, the Z6 has a list price of $1.1900 approx, although it can now be found for the just under $1.1800. The price point of the Z5 positions the camera as an affordable transition option for Nikon DSLR owners if you have existing full-frame F-mount lenses and want to enter the world of mirrorless photography, then Z5 is the best least expensive option. Similarly, for the photographers who simply want to enter the Nikon mirrorless system without prior Nikon experience, the Z5 is a yet another choice in addition to the features packed and more expensive Z6 camera and the higher megapixel Z7.
Nikon has officially unveiled the new and improved Nikon Z6 II and Nikon Z7 II full frame mirrorless camera. Iteration on the first generation that adds some important features like, like dual card slots. Professionals will appreciate on the new addition when they open the memory card door. Nikon has added a UHS 2 SD card slot that joins the lone XQD EF Express slot from last time. So if you want immediate backups for your shorts and the videos, there you go. Other changes are on the inside. The G6 II builds on the G6 already pretty strong video feature set with the promise of UHD 4K 60p in a free firmware update due in February 2021. There's now a second XPeed 6 processor in each camera. Yes, they have got dual processors and that's enabled Nikon to increase their continuous shooting capabilities. The 24.5 megapixel Z6 II can hit 14 frames per second, while the 45.7 megapixel Z7 II now top ups 10 frames per second. 4K video recording at 60 FPS has been added to the both the G6 II and G7 II, but only the latter will offer it at launch. Nikon says a firmware update in the February 2021 will bring this feature to the G6 II. On the Z7 II, you will get a 1.08x crop when the recording 4K 60. Nikon says the autofocus performance has been incrementally improved over the original Z6. But the most notable feature change is an addition of the face and the eye detection, both human and animal, to the wide area autofocus mode. Previously, these features were only available in the auto area autofocus, meaning the camera decided where to focus. By adding them to the wide area, you are able to narrow down the region in which that camera hunts for the faces, giving you a way of pre-selecting the face you wish to focus on. The variants of the wide area autofocus with the human and animal face eye autofocus have been added to the list of the autofocus mode accessible from the eye quick menu, meaning you don't have a separately engaged those functions. Nikon says the focusing system now works in the light, a low as minus 4.5 EV, a one stop improvement. And that's without choosing the slower low light autofocus mode, which extends a further two stops. The best part of the revolutionary G mount, the Nikon Z mount systems has a large lens mount, feature a 55 mm inner diameter and short 16 mm flange, focus distance which allow for the flexibility in the optical designs of the Nikon Z lenses with the maximum apertures as a wide as f0.95 possible. The internal diameter of the G mount is 70% larger than the Nikon F mount. It also wider than any full frame mount available as A2318. That is also extra oddly sharp from the edges even with the wide open apertures and operations is virtually silent making them perfect choice for the video as well. Breakthroughs of the G mount, the largest full frame lens mount of any system have given way to some of the most advanced optically pristine lens over Nikon Z. The Z62 is a compatible with them all each one delivering a new perspective and drawing peak performance from the camera. The Z62 has a native ISO range of 100 to 51200, same as Z6, and can be expanded up to ISO 102400. With the big leap forward in the low light autofocus performance, the Z62 can find your subject in a half the available light as its predecessor. Keep shooting into the evening with the same fast accurate autofocus performance. Buffer size. Key with the fast frame of the 14 frame per second, G6 II have a buffer capacity of 124 shots. That's the 3.3 times the buffer size of the Z6. Z6 II have many creative features. If you are a night landscape or astrophotographer and like long exposure photography, track the path of the star, capture movement like never before, with the long exposure up to 900 seconds. Use your smartphone to the trigger the shutter to avoid camera vibrations. Focus shift mode. The Z62 will take a series of up to 300 photos, each within an incrementally adjusted focus. Adjusted focus position. Use third party software to combine focus tag the photos into the single image with, with surreal depth of field and sharpness. Focus shift shooting mode automatically takes a series of an image while advancing the focus position in the e-shot. Great for shooting jewelry, products, landscape and still objects. Nikon has also made usability improvements 
like allowing firmware updates over the Snapbase mobile app. Add another element of the uniqueness and artistry to your photos and videos with the 20 creative pictures control, all visible in the real time while you shoot either through the viewfinder or on the tilting touch screen display. Z6 II have a multiple shooting requirements, choice of 8-bit shoot in built in the camera and easy, easy and immediate use 10-bit and log HLD or HLG output to the external recorder to more advanced video recording. Reverse focus rotation. If you have been using non-icon lenses for the video work, the Z6 II lets you reverse the focus ring rotation on Nikon Z lenses. Your muscle memory will thank you. Z6 II camera includes in the body image stabilization. The 5-axis IBS system delivers up to the 5-stop of the image stabilization while shooting and corrects for the yaw, pitch, roll and movement along the X and Y axis. When the using FTZ adapter, which allows you to the attach F mount lenses to the new Z mount, the Z6 II instead offer 3-axis stabilization same as Z6 and Z7. Now you have options, one slot accept CFX Express Type B and SQD cards. The other slot accept standard SD cards Use the format you prefer or use both slots and separate video and still files and still files or RAW and JPEG. Create a backup or maximize your onboard storage. In terms of a connectivity, the Z6 II is also compatible with the Nikon Snapbridge via built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This means that user can move images and videos between the camera and a compatible smartphone. Snapbridge also allows remote control of the camera when you can't be the behind the lens, pull out your compatible smartphone and use its control, the Z6, G6 to see what the camera sees. Changes setting like aperture, shutter speed, white balance, then remotely fire the shutter or start the stop recordings. User can also transfer full resolution RAW images, JPEG, and even 4K video files right to your phone wirelessly. Then use your favorite apps for editing, adding filters, and sharing. Update the Z6 II firmware with the Snapbridge app from almost anywhere, keeping your camera up to the date with the latest feature has never been easier or more convenient. In the terms of a battery, the Z6 II uses the new EN EL15C battery. Many Nikon owners already have the EN EL15 battery because they are full compatible with the all full Nikon full frame and Nikon DSLR cameras. The new EN EL15C take more shots and allows to the camera be powered by an external power sources while the camera is still being used. This is a great for the studio use, time lapse, video streaming and more like Z5. Live streaming from your G6 II can be done with the simple USB-C cable without requiring complex setup. First time in the Z series camera, Z6 II compatible with fully featured battery grip. The MBN11 accepts two EN EL15C batteries, giving 1.9 times more battery performance. It has shutter release dial and customized function button for the easy and comfortable shooting. Here is a plug for the video and the studio photographers. MBN11 has a built-in USB-C port which is an addition one already in the camera this will be very handy when you need power the camera using one port communicating with the software or other equipment. Camera is a reliable, durable, comfortable and made from the best quality material. It is a lightweight but have a very durable magnesium alloy body protected by the weather seal so you can also shoot in bad weather. You will also get touch Operable tilting high resolution LCD monitor giving you a more control from your unique angles. Intelligent menu and have inbuilt help level guide. The Z62 will go on the sale in the November for the dollar 2000 approx in a body only configuration or dollar 2600 when the bundle with the Nikon G2470 mm f4s lens. Nikon is hoping that the both cameras that increase the processing power, improved speed, expanded buffer capacity more capable autofocus options, the fastest shooting will help the company stay in the mix with the Canon, Sony, Panasonic and other camera makers. Nikon announced a new ZFC camera in the retro look. Nikon ZFC is an APS-C mirrorless camera that combines Nikon's new G lens mount with the looks and controls. That recalls the company's classic FM and FV series film SLRs. Nikon has a long history of iconic cameras and lenses. Among the company's rich history is the Nikon's FM2 film camera, first released in the 1982. 
द थर्टी फाइव एम एम एनरलॉग कैमरा वॉज प्रोड्यूस्ड अंडिल टू जीरो जीरो वन द जी एफ सी ऑफर्स मैनी ऑफ द सेम की फीचर एज अ नाइकॉन जी फिफ्टी रैप्ड इन द कॉम्पैक्ट स्टाइलिश और स्कूल पैकेज द जी एफ सी इवन एड्स सम न्यू फीचर्स अबव एंड बियॉन्ड द जी फिफ्टी विच इज एक्साइटिंग द जी एफ सी इज नॉट सक्सेसर टू द जी फिफ्टी बट इट इज अ नॉट सिंपली अ डिफरेंटली स्टाइल अल्टरनेटिव आइदर The new Z camera calls back the Nikon's analog heritage with the retro style and analog controls. Looking at the front of the Nikon ZFC, the neat old school detail is immediately evident. The camera's engraved Nikon's logo is the one Nikon used in the 1970s and 80s, which is the nice attention to the detail moving to the top of the camera. Nikon has doubled down on the physical tactile controls. The top of the camera includes dedicated ISO shutter speed and exposure compensation dials the camera's entire 100 to 51200 iso range is accessible on the iso dial plus hi1 and hi2 settings are also accessible via the dial the top of the camera does not have the space for the full information display but it does include a small window that shows you a selected aperture The ZFC does not have traditional mode dial but surrounding the ISO dial is a switch allowing the user to swap between manual aperture priority shutter priority program and auto shooting modes it is an elegant solution and efficient use of the space on the camera's top deck the top of the ZFC also includes a power switch a movie still mode switch and a dedicated movie record button The ZFC aims to deliver modern Z performance and technology in the classic design. Further Nikon wants to ZFC to be lightweight and compact. The ZFC is a constructed using a magnesium alloy frame which provides durability without making the camera large and heavy. The ZFC weighs 5 grams less than the Z50. It is a not a big difference in the weight of course, but at the only 390 gram, the ZFC is a lightweight APS-C mirrorless camera. The Nikon ZFC has a satin silver coating which contrasts nicely against the leather-like black grip material covering much of the camera including the front grip area and much of the camera's rear. A neat aspect of the camera's design is that you can flip the 3-inch vary angle display such that the display is hidden. The back of the ZFC display is covered with the same black leather-like material such that when the display is reversed the ZFC has the look of the film camera which of course lack a rear display speaking of the rear display the ZFC display is a 3 inch and and has approximately 1.04 billion dots of resolution the display flips out to the side allowing it to be used as a selfie display the vary angle display should also prove useful for vloggers allowing them to easily frame shots and monitor their videos The display has 11 manual brightness level and offers 170 degree viewing angle. The touch screen can be used to interact with the camera menus, shooting settings and more as well. Above the display is a series of buttons which are finished in the satin silver. There are playback, delete and monitor display buttons to the left of the viewfinder. To the viewfinder right are an AE AF lock button and command dial. To the right of the display are information zoom in zoom out display and menu buttons there is a directional pad with a central okay button the zfc does not include a dedicated autofocus point joystick which is also absent on the z50 the zfc electronic viewfinder is a 0.39 inch type oled display with the resolution of 2.36 million dots The EVF offers 100% frame coverage and has a 1.02x magnifications. Overall, the ZFC is arguably Nikon's most stylish Z camera yet. Based on appearance alone, the camera promises to the bridge the gap between Nikon's storied past and its mirrorless Z system present. The ZFC has the same imaging pipeline as the Z50, meaning that the ZFC comes equipped with the 20.9 megapixel CMOS image sensor paired with the Nikon's Xperia 6 ML processor its native ISO range is 100 to 51200 which can be expanded up to ISO 204800 i2 the camera includes auto ISO which automatically select ISO from 100 to 25600 which can be further customized to the user preference ZFC offer the same shooting performance as the Z50 as well as providing up to 11 frames per seconds 
continuous shooting mode when recording 12 bit raw images the zfc includes the same 209 points hybrid autofocus system as the z50 although with some improvements the 209 autofocus points cover approximately 87% of the frame in the horizontal direction and 85% vertically the autofocus system is rated to work down to the minus 4.5 ev autofocus area modes include spin point autofocus single point autofocus dynamic area autofocus wide area autofocus s wide area autofocus l wide area autofocus l people wide area autofocus l animal auto area autofocus auto area autofocus people and autofocus area animals the zfc includes a couple of autofocus features that the z50 doesn't including full time eye autofocus when recording the video and wide area autofocus for the people and animal having full time eye autofocus when recording video plus the very angle display makes the zfc nikon best camera for vlogging and webcam users The ZFC records 4K UHD 3840 by 2160 video at up to the 30p. 4K UHD video can be also recorded at 24p and 25p. 4K UHD video is recorded using the full width of the image sensor and with the full pixel readout. Full HD 1920 by 1080 video can be recorded at 24, 25, 30, 50, 60, 100. and 120p frame rates in terms of slow motion video the zfc offers in the camera 4x and 5x slow motion modes the camera also has a built in interval timer for the creation of 4k time lapse movies during the video shooting the zfc does not include the body image stabilization but an electronic vr mode is available for the video using nikon's free webcam utility app the zfc can easily be used as a webcam too it uses the same en el25 lithium ion battery as the z50 the zfc includes built in the wifi and bluetooth via its wireless connection the zfc like the z62 and the z72 can be updated wirelessly via the nikon snapbridge application this is the another feature that zfc has that z50 doesn't Nikon Snapbridge can also wirelessly control the camera and automatically transfer images from the camera to your mobile devices. The ZFC has a high speed USB and micro B connector, a type D HDMI connector, stereo mini jack and and USB 3.2. The Nikon ZFC comes in the standard silver and black. However, through Nikon USA and other Nikon stores worldwide, the ZFC will also be available in the other colors. There are 6 additional colors all of which will be available in the United States and the Canada. These additional colors include white, coral pink, mint green, sand beige, amber brown and natural gray. The Nikon ZFC is available as a body only but it will be available in a couple of kits including one with the Nikon ZDX 60 by 50 mm f 3.5 6.3 VR lens. This lens will be available along with the ZFC with with the matching satin silver finish. It is the same lens optically as the earlier black version released with the Z50, but the smallest Nikon G lens will have a new style to match the ZFC look, pricing and availability. The Nikon ZFC will be available starting in the late July in a numerous configurations. The body only will be the cost approx dollar 960 USD dollar for dollar 1100 customer can purchase the GFC with the special silver 1650 mm kit lens the silver DX60 to 50 mm will also be available separately for the dollar 300 while the GFC and G50 are the similar in the many ways there are some obvious difference between the two cameras beyond the massive differences in the style the GFC include improved usability via a full vary angle display and improved dial operations in the terms of the feature the zfc offer usb power delivery and wireless firmware updates two feature the g50 doesn't include that said the z50 include a built in pop up flash something not available in the gfc the zfc and z50 use the same autofocus system but zfc includes the i autofocus in the movie wide area autofocus people and animal auto focus feature unavailable in the Z50 the ZFC also includes exposure composition is auto mode a useful feature unavailable for the G50 users
Nikon has a already uploaded the official video about the new launch in last week. I always feel great and excited when Nikon launch a any new camera. So I don't want to miss to upload a review of this camera. So today I am here with the new Nikon G9's features. Nikon just launched a new full frame flagship mirrorless camera Z9. The Nikon Z9 is a 45.7 MP full frame Pro Sports Mirrorless Camera A high speed 8K shooting statement of intent from one of the industry's biggest players. It is a fashionably late but the Nikon Z9 has definitely made an entrance. On paper it beats the Sony A1 and Canon EOS R3 with its blistering 120 FPS burst shooting 8K 60p capability. 2 hours of 8K 30p recording and a price tag that's a hundred of bucks cheaper. This is a remarkable camera that promises next level performance. We will need to properly field test it to see but color us very impressed right now. The Nikon Z9 is a traditional looking mirrorless camera that's designed to appeal to those making to switch from DSLR. In the hand it feels like a flagship Nikon camera should rock solid and ergonomically refined. It is an old school design but the Z9 body is a 20% smaller than the BP Nikon D6. And the deep comfortable grip is ideal for the both horizontal and vertical shooting. In the spirit of the bulldozers like the Nikon F4 from the 1980s, it is also a bit like a tank with the magnesium alloy body that's fully weather sealed. Also coming from the Nikon DSLRs is an autofocus mode button for quickly switching between manual and autofocus. And round the back is a handy feature that we enjoyed during our short play. A dual axis monitor that tilts 90 degree in both horizontal and vertical directions. Nikon Z9's monitor does not flip around to the face, the front like the latest display. But given the Z9 is a predominantly for photographers, this is a likely find for the most buyers and the ability to see what you are shooting from the low angles in the portrait or landscapes orientations is a real bonus especially for the pros who are increasingly being asked to deliver stills and videos in portrait format to suit phones and tablets. The Nikon Z9 Info display also handily rotate when you turn into the portrait mode which helps you avoid craning your neck. And the eye menu seen on the Nikon Z6 Mark II and Z7 Mark II also returns here. Nikon claims the Z9's EVF has absolutely no lag or blackout, giving you a continuous real-time view that's akin to an optical viewfinder. The EVF is also a super bright 3000 nit panel that certainly looked crisp and clear. Nikon has added a new sensor shield which drops down when you remove the lens. Like the Nikon's D6, the Z9's rear button are also illuminated to help you find them in the dark although this can be turned off. Nikon Z9 does not apply to track people also track faces, eyes, heads and upper bodies in animals, bodies, eyes and heads, in vehicles, cars, motorbikes, planes and trains. This means the Nikon Z9 can recognize up to the 10 different types of the subject in the single frame, track them all individually. In terms of autofocusing power, the Nikon Z9 is a big leap forward from the Nikon Z7 II, offering 5 times as many auto area autofocus points as that camera. These are the AF points that can automatically detect a subject in the frame and acquire focus. And Nikon says that it offers better subject tracking across the frame than the previous flagship Nikon D6. Focus in dark, it go down to minus 8.5 EV. Subject detection and autofocus work all the way down to minus 6.5 EV activate straight mode. And focus all the way down to minus 8.5 EV and since you are spending more time in the dark, the Z9's buttons are eliminated. The intelligent and processing power within Xperia 7 improves electronic VR for the video recording, correcting distortion from wide-angle lens and allowing you to create smooth handheld walking shots. The Nikon Z9 meanwhile can shoot full resolution RAW at the 20 FPS 
and Nikon's big claim is that you can do this for over 1000 frames. Again, this is a band using Pro Grade Digital Goblet CFX Press card, but the promise of the near limitless buffer when shooting at those speeds will the light up the eyes of the sports, news, and wildlife snappers. It is dead not quite fast enough. The Z9 does also offer a crowd burst mode that can hit 120 FPS. Given this only shoots 11 MP JPEGs, it is likely to be slightly niche emergency mode for professional photographers. Through the fact that it can do this with the full AF, AE tracking is impressive. In other words, these are not just video frames. Nikon also says that when you factor in the FTZ adapter for the mounting older F-mount lenses, this mode is available for over 100 lenses. Nikon says the Z9 new stack sensor has the world's fastest sensor scan rates, which means it is electronic only, shutter keeps even fast moving lines straight, but the slightly concentrating COVID is that Nikon claims that only virtually does away with rolling shutter distortion. The Z9 outputs two data streams from the stacked CMOS sensor, one for the writing to the memory card and one for the viewing. The viewing stream is unaffected by any capture processing, leaving a lag-free uninterrupted view with absolutely no blackout. The Nikon Z9 stacked 45.7 MPA full frame CMOS sensor effectively make it a super powered version of Nikon Z7 II, which also offers a 45.7 MPA resolution but without the stack chip or speedy readout speeds. Wide open in any light, 1 is to 32,000 seconds shutter speed, turn your shutter speed all the way up to 1 is to 32,000 seconds and shoot wide open in harsh light. Enjoy the beautiful bouquet of a Nikon Z lenses in more situation than ever. The fast readout sensor was always a likely to help the Z9's video performance, but Nikon has a clearly put a lot of effort into the make sure it offers modes that are usable rather than just looking good on the spec sheet. For instance, it becomes the first Nikon camera to be able to capture low footage internally. At the launch, the camera will offer 8K 30p oversampled 4K from 8K capture at up to the 30p or less detailed 4K at up to 120p taken from the full width of the sensor, either bent or line skipped. This capability will be explained with the promised firmware update in 2022. At first, you will have the choice of 8 or 10 bit files with the H.264, H.265 or VAS delivery ready ProRes 422 HQ comparison, but these options to be explained a later date. Nikon says the camera will be able to shoot its overwhelmed 4K 30 for more than 2 hours at normal temperature. The Z9 uses the ENL EL18D, the latest variant of the large battery used by the previous Pro grade Nikons. It will work with the all previous ENL EL18 batteries but can only charge B, C and D version in the camera over USB and will deliver more shots. With the ENL EL18D, the charger supplied with the Z9 also only sports the three more recent variants. On paper through, there is certainly lots of potential, with native ISO range of 64 to 25600, and options to extend these down to ISO 32 and up to ISO 102400. Nikon says, the Z9 has a new algorithm to help process out noise in dimly lit situations. The Nikon Z9's new Xperia 7 processor has also apparently brought improvements to the white balance, enabling it to the more accurate reproduce skin tones or produce colors that shall mean less tweaking in the post production. This will be welcomed by the both sports and commercial photographers, especially as this logarithm also affect exposure when using flash. New RAW format retains the same high image quality, dynamic range and flexibility as conventional RAW files with approximately one third smaller file size. Speed up your workflow. Faster image upload 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi 1000 base T wired LAN. Deliver your image to your editor faster than ever with the built in the 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi 
for over the year transfers and 1000 base t for faster by transfers increase your productivity and your ability to deliver amazing images on time with the nx mobile air there is no computer required no need for the separate wireless transmitter and images can be automatically uploaded without ever touching your smartphone nikon's nx mobile air is an android and ios app that lets you a either a compatible nikon camera to a smartphone for in the moment FTP upload over 4G or 5G cellular connection easily manage your FTP server and make simple photo edits enter IPTC data and even add voice memos whether you are at the packed venue away from a Wi-Fi connection or just traveling light you can still hit the deadline available as a free app with an optional subscription app will coming soon to the App Store and Google Play and on the first impression that's what the Nikon Z9 appears to have done it effectively combines the Nikon D6 and Nikon D850 and takes them to the new mirrorless level creating a super powered Nikon Z7 Mark II in the process for owner of the older Nikon DSLRs like the Nikon's D850 or Nikon D or Nikon 810 who have been patiently waiting for this camera to go all out on a professional mirrorless body the nikon z9 looks like a no brainer it is expensive of course but also much cheaper than the nikon d6 was at launch at aggressive price tag of dollar 5499 this is the best camera for the photography in the world right now so that's all for the today soon i will come with the new tutorial